Well, all new tonight, opening facilities in the city of Beaumont. This has taken a few twists and turns. And today, the council voted uh, that they were going to keep these facilities closed for the time being. This decision came a week after they decided the very opposite just last week. 12 News reporter Jordan James was there as they made the change. After last week's council meeting, Randy Felshaw had a change in heart after consulting with health experts, prompting Mayor Ames to bring this issue back to the table. For more than two hours, council members went back and forth discussing the pros and cons of reopening the facilities. Health experts voiced their concerns to the city council, saying opening the venues could lead to a surge in COVID-19 cases. It came down to a 4-3 vote with the council deciding to keep the venues closed for the foreseeable future. I think at times we send the message that, you know, it's safe to go to this place, but you can't go to this place. It's safe to go to Home Depot, but you can't go to the event center. But we as a city official, we've got to make, the, we got to uh, politics aside, we got to make the right decision. What we're really saying is we know better than than you do so we'll tell you when it's okay for you to come back into your city buildings i do not know if you close the all the venues will change anything you know at least we can try at least we can try to give a strong message. A city spokesperson tells 12 News that since March, more than 150 events have been canceled, resulting in roughly $200,000 in revenue losses for the city. As of now, the council has not set a date for when they plan on revisiting the opening of all their entertainment venues. Reporting here in Beaumont, Jordan James, 12 News.